All right, just gonna do a video explaining the papal Islamic type of tactics that new IFB led by Pope Stephen Anderson over in Arizona will use against their detractors and people who leave. I was part of the new IFB from about 2017 to probably about March and early April 2019. That was when I, you know, spiritually, I guess, made the decision to leave the group. You know, I was still unsaved at the time. I still was a false convert, a religious atheist, as I like to call it. But I left the new IFB cult. And essentially what was going on was that I was seeing a whole lot of problems prior to that. And the, and the thing that was kind of the breaking point for me was essentially the whole Adam Fannin, Stephen Anderson, Donny Romero type of situation. What was going on was that about the first week of 2019, uh, Donny Romero, the, the guy who was essentially the acolyte of Stephen Anderson sent over to, to uh, Fort Worth, Texas, got busted for snorting cocaine and hiring prostitutes and gambling with the, with the church money. So he gets, he gets ousted, thrown out, because obviously he's disqualified himself. Uh, for fornicating and committing adultery. So Anderson walks in and essentially chooses the pastor for them. So, and, and there's a video where one of the church members was like, hey, can we vote on this? And Anderson is basically just like, no, I've already picked the pastor. So, so much for being independent Baptist churches when Anderson could just walk into the church. Because again, that's not his church. Okay, that's Steadfast Baptist Church. It's a church plant. He sent the guy out, but it's not his church. So he walks into the independent church and basically picks the pastor for them. And the person he picks is essentially Stephen Anderson Jr., who goes by the name of Jonathan Shelley. The guy is a full-on clone. He's got the same beard, same kind of uh, nasally, effeminate type voice, and just same kind of behavior as Anderson too. So he picks uh, Stephen Anderson Jr. And before he's even ordained, he's already starting to call shots. Already, you know, saying, essentially giving instructions that you would normally give as a pastor, but he wasn't ordained of that into that church yet. So what was going on is that there was the uh, church plant over in Florida, which is where Romero would visit and then would, you know, hire his uh, hookers to go hook up with. So essentially, the church over there, the church plant, they did not want Shelley. There was a, a, a number of them, a number of them that did, but the majority of them wanted a better option. Okay, so you have the majority of the church that rejects Shelley. So, and by the way, here's a video of that as well. Here's a video of a clear because there's a video where this little guy named Ben the Baptist does something where they have like a few guys say, go in a park and say we want Shelley. But this video by Adam Fannin is the clear majority of the church saying they want a better option. So here's a clip for yourself. This is Brother Adam Fannin here at Steadfast Baptist Church in Jacksonville, Florida. We have voted and the majority of the families, 15 to 10, have decided to wait for a better option. Four days is not quick enough to make a decision. We're not going to lay hands suddenly on no man. We have a pastor that is actually going to help us and mediate. We'll be making a statement about that later this week. We ask for your prayers and we reach out to the other families. You're always welcome back. We love you. You're our family. God bless. Thank you. Everybody in, in favor, say aye or amen. Amen. So essentially what happens is that because Adam Fannin is going against the demands of Pope Anderson and his little acolyte, Steve Anderson Jr., a.k.a. Jonathan Shelley, well, things go down pretty bad. And essentially they, the new IFB, all the new IFB goons, you know, who essentially just don't seem to question anything Anderson says. So essentially, ignoring the fact that Romero, the guy who, who was pastoring the church, got busted essentially fornicating with prostitutes and smoke, you know, snorting cocaine and gambling with church money. So they kind of just, kind of, they'll say, oh yeah, that was bad, but you know, they basically dump all their hatred on Adam Fannin. Because while Adam Fannin dared to go against the, the demands of Pope Stephen Anderson, and is, I guess you could say, his Archbishop, uh, Jonathan Shelley, or, you know, Steve Anderson Jr., as I like to call him. So, as a result, they're dumping all their hatred on Adam Fannin, you know, and kind of taking attention off the real issue, which is the fact that uh, Steve Anderson's guy he sent out was basically busted fornicating with prostitutes. So, and this is actually a consistent theme with the new IFB. When you go against the demands of the leader, well, you're going to get slandered all over the internet. Because, you see, the cult of the new IFB is, has no power of God whatsoever. All they have is power through the internet. All they have is power through the electricity going into their Wi-Fi routers. So whenever something goes down, they basically go to the YouTube. They basically will go to YouTube instead of going to them personally. That's how it goes. So essentially, I'm here in Canada finding out all this other stuff that should be, should have been internal church matters that should not have been blasted all over the internet. So I'm here in Canada finding out all this stuff about stuff that's going on over in Florida and Texas that should have been kept internal. You know, it's it's a bunch of garbage. But hey, it's it's what you get when you have 
a group that is claiming to be independent Baptist, but really there's no independence with it whatsoever. Hence why Anderson could just walk in and pick the pastor and, and the church doesn't get the vote. And then, you know, people will say, well, they did all agree that they wanted Shelley. Yeah, but it, but that doesn't change the fact that Anderson just walks in and picks the pastor. And then when they ask to vote, he just tells them no. It's not, it's not independent Baptist. That's a cult. And you have the Pope walking in to do damage control when one of his priests gets busted into some, into some sex perversion. Very similar to the Vatican. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Hence why I'm calling this, you know, the papal Islamic treatment. Because how they treat their follower, their people who would detract from them and go against the leader is no different than any Muslim, you know, cult or any Catholic group would, you know, or essentially how the Vatican would do it. I'll put it that way. Or any, any Muslim, you know, would, would treat somebody who leaves Islam. So I wanted to point that out. Uh, don't be deceived by the cult of Stephen Anderson. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.